Hey everybody, it's Kat. Well, I'm here to do a theme Thursday. Sorry I missed last week's and I was going to try and incorporate it in this week's, but what I've got to pick out for my babies, well, nothing is red or hearts. So here we have Cooper, my go-to boy, my go-to man, and I really hate taking him out of this little raccoon overall um, Cat and Jack outfit, but I got another cute one for him to go into for theme Thursday. So here we go. Let's see what's been happening since the last time I talked to y'all. Well, my great niece finally made her appearance. She didn't come on Valentine's Day like she was supposed to. She came a couple days later, gave her mama a hard time. But when she got here, she is beautiful. Sometimes she looks exactly like her mama. Sometimes she looks exactly like her daddy. So can't make up my mind on that yet. And we all know babies change so quickly. It'll be a while before she really picks a look and sticks with it. <laughs> so she was uh, six pounds, 14 ounces, and 21 and a half inches long. So she is a long, skinny baby. So, oh, Mr. Cooper. Well, this week's theme that Yvonne picked, uh, had for us to do is either things that fly or birds. So, Mr. Cooper is going to go into a penguin outfit. This is an olive gray outfit. It's um, all one piece. has a pocket when you're looking at it on the right hand side and it says snow cute. And then right in the middle it has a penguin that it feels like an applique but at the same time it looks like it's knitted. I haven't figured it out. But it's right in the middle of his chest. And then it has built in faux long white sleeves. And around the collar is a dark blue trim. So let's get him dressed. I thought I had that in snap. I don't think it will go up this way. Nah, we'll just unsnap everything and go. So let's see. Yes, my great niece is here. Something else happened that I was going to tell you guys, and I totally forgot. Oh, I went to see the urologist yesterday. Those who saw my last video learned I had a kidney stone that came in from the right side. She didn't take, I'm not quite sure about it. She didn't take any x-rays or anything yesterday. But she said after two weeks and as small as the other kid, as the kidney stone was, it probably passed without me knowing it. And everybody else is like, what? But she said it was like smaller than a grain of sand was how tiny it was. But then she informed me that when I was in the hospital, or in the emergency room, that when they did the CT scan, they did one on my heart also. They didn't tell me that. But I guess everything looks okay because they didn't send me to a heart doctor. But she told me when she looked at the CT scan, I have a kidney stone in my left kidney. I'm like, what? So she said, no need to worry about it unless it starts giving you problems. She said, um, oh, how did she put it? Anyway, she don't want to see me back for a year. And then at that time, they're going to do another set of x-rays or whatever to see if the kidney stone is still there if I have more. I'm like, well, okay, but I would really like to know for sure if the other kidney stone is gone or what. So now I'm worrying about, oh my gosh, is any time am I going to be in pain again from the left one? So she was really nice. It was the first time I saw her and everything. But it was just kind of sort of blasé. The only thing she told me and to change my diet was to um, get less salt in it. Just watch my salt intake. Because some she put it like, the more salt you take, the more it flushes out your system because it goes to the kidneys but it takes your calcium with you and then the calcium is what causes the kidney stone she said they've never heard of a kidney stone being made of salt but it's the salt that takes more calcium and then you have to worry about like osteoporosis and all this other thing it stuff if it gets really bad so that was my day yesterday. There, my man. 
Let's show everybody how cute you look. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I got socks and shoes for him. Yes, I remembered the whole thing. These are just little gray socks that has little dinosaurs on them. So we get those on his feet and they fit him perfectly. And I got a pair of shoes that I got from, I think I got these from Once Upon a Child. But they were brand new. And uh, they were sitting there and I thought, well, this would go pretty good with his outfit. Come on. Man, they don't make these things easy. I guess they have to be careful because of people stealing stuff, which I don't like that ideal at all. Now, let's see. Yeah, these are still new. They still have the cardboard and everything in them. Wow, I should have checked these out a little bit more. Now, I don't know how to tell which one goes on which foot. Huh. I'm sure your ladies are talking into, in there saying... No, the other way. What? Maybe if I can figure out from the back. I can't. I don't know. Maybe this way. I don't know. I don't think he's going to complain. Well, can I even get him on? Yeah. If he complains, then, man, I've got me some money to be made. <laughs> Oops, got to take care of that. Yep, everything's out of it. I can't put shoes on my nieces and great nephews. I am not one to put be able to put shoes on kids. I guess the sock is bunching up somehow. There, got it on. Okay, now... Let's show everybody how cute you look and your little penguin outfit and his little shoes. And the shoes are just gray and then um, right where the expanders are to slide them on, it's gray stripe, gray and white stripes. So that is Mr. Cooper. And the next one that's going to be changed is going to be Miss Christina. I love her in this little froggy outfit. Miss Christina may be going to a new home soon. I don't really know for sure. A friend of the family's just loves her. And she was over right around Valentine's Day. It might have been even on Valentine's Day last week. Because she's always making us candy and stuff, me and my mom. And she always has to hold Christina when she come over. And she made a comment that she really would love to have Christina. So I gave her a price, kind of flippantly because I didn't know how serious she was. And then she said she just might have to save up. So I don't know how serious she was or not, but until then, we'll keep Christina and y'all can keep seeing this pretty little sweet little face. So Christina is going into a flamingo pajamas, or they're a onesie sleeper. So here in other words, I think flamingos do fly. But they're birds, so we are going to get her all settled into this. Now get her little foot in there. Oh, you might hear the dog in there barking. I don't know what she's barking at. We had a, I live two blocks from a middle school. It's where I went to middle school at. And a young lady, 13 years old committed suicide today in the school. I think she was 13. She was in seventh grade. So she's probably a little bit younger than that, but she committed suicide in the school bathroom today. And one of my friend's son, grandson goes there and was friends with her. And uh, he's really shaken up by it. He talked to her all the time, so. Don't know a whole lot of details except that. His dad had to go get him, and he just told his grandma, he says, I'm just going to go to bed and sleep. He said, I, j I just need some sleep. So, those of you who pray, just please keep 
our middle school here and uh, your prayers. We've had, and I know this is going on all over the United States because of that shooting down in Florida, but we have had death threats all week at all of our high schools in the area. And they, and one of our colleges closed here. And they have arrested a couple, they arrested one kid for the high school threats. And they have arrested two people who had a kill list for our college here. So, just pray for our area, as as I pray for all the kids in the United States and the United States itself. So here is Miss Christina. This kind of fits funky on her because of these little froggy legs of hers. But she is going to get this wild headband today because I think it kind of brings out the little color in there and it's just a soft pink. So she is going to have her hair done a little different this time. So, I don't know if those curl will go down and lay down because that's the only way I fi have fixed her hair in all the years I have had her. Which I don't remember when I got. I've, I've been in this hobby before years in April. So, gosh, she looks so different with her hair down like that. <laughs> she does look cute. <laughs> and there is Miss Christina. Say hi, everybody. Me and my big old bow. It's almost as big as my head. I tell you, that new great, great niece of mine, oh my gosh, she has the biggest eyes. And she, for her being less than a week old, she is extremely alert and awake. Okay, my next and last baby I'm going to change is Miss Sabrina. And it's really hard for me to take her out of this little outfit. Because she just looks so adorable. She's going to be going back into this soon. So, we're going to go ahead and take this off. Since this top's elastic, I can just do it this way. I've already put the new bow in her hair that she has for this. But I, I'm going to take and fix her hair a little bit. But I was trying on the headbands to make sure they fit the girls. Look her, she's just so tiny. She kind of reminds me of my great niece. She's just... So itty bitty. Christina is too, but Sabrina, Sabrina is a large preemie and a small newborn, which is just about what my new baby is. So she is going in this last outfit that came in the three pack, which I forget who has the other shirt on or the other thing that goes with this, but oh no, no, it was just this, the sleeper and this, but she has little flamingos on her feet. So she is going to go into this so she can participate in theme thursday also as you can tell these are kind of my three go-to babies but another reason why is because they're right easily where i can get to them if y'all could see my room it's like a hoarder's room i've got paths going everywhere and I don't want to downsize too much. I need to downsize, but I don't want to downsize too much because when my apartment comes through, I'll have so much more room. And I'm hoping to make part of my bedroom a nursery. Because the bedroom, according to the um, diagram and everything, is really big. So, and usually one bedroom apartments like that are. And it's got an open kitchen and dining or dining room and living room. And if my bedroom's not big enough, well, I don't really need a kitchen table. Oh, let me move her up so y'all can see her better. Because I usually don't have anybody over or anything like that. So if my bedroom won't work, I'm thinking about making that little air. Look at that. She is just so tiny. Um, a nursery. And put up like a screen or something like that you know, between the living room and everything. I don't know yet until I get in there, but I'll have so much more room. And, uh, it'll be so much better. Look how big these pants are on her. I'm going to keep her top out. We'll just, 
throw these up there. I don't think there's anything on the back, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. I fall in love with this baby more, it, almost every time I change her. I forgot who I was watching today. For some reason, I think it was Virginia's channel. About, or was it? No. It was Angelina's channel. Yeah, that, how three-fourths babies, a lot of times right here, the way they're stuffed, the, the three-fourths legs, it makes their hips bulge out bigger. And you can kind of tell that in this one. But when I'm holding her, I, I don't notice things like that. So let's redo her hair. Man, there seems like something else I'm supposed to, I wanted to tell you guys. I'm going to have to start writing things down. Oh, I know one of the things. Um, I am just now catching up on videos of a lot of my favorite channels. I just kind of stopped watching them for a while. I got interested in some other things and it kind of cut into my time where I normally did my videos. But, um... I'm not catching up on all of them. I'm just like really doing the last one or if, if I see an interesting title, I'll go back to that one to see. A lot of people have gotten a lot of babies. Some have gotten rid of babies. Um, but my mom likes to watch these judge shows and I'm not so interested in them. So the two hours in the afternoon that those are on is when I normally was listening to the... Um, or not listening, watching my videos. So that is what I'm going back to. So let me, I'm gonna pull this down just a little bit. I know I like for her to have bangs down like that. There she is. I know it looks with her short sleeve. I should have found my little pink sweater and I forgot. But there she is in her little flamingo pants. And her little, I just love this little outfit on her too. I think we're gonna to do some cuddles today. I had thought about putting the little, oops, here it is, you can't see it, putting the little flamingo hat on it, but I just don't want to mess up her hair and everything, so that's not going to go. So here are my babies. Let me, okay, y'all can, I'll adjust the mirror in just a second. Mirror, oh my gosh, the camera in just a second here to get Christina in. There they are. So here's Miss, oh. Here, look at the camera better. There, Christina, Sabrina, and Con Cooper. All there. Phoenix, are you going to come say hello? He's on the edge of the bed. Like, he's really... Oh, my gosh. Has this already been 18 minutes? I haven't made a video that long in forever. Phoenix, I'm sorry. You can't come over here. I've got to stop this video. It's going to take us forever to upload. So, this is Kat with my baby signing off saying, Meow.